national child well-being report shows South Carolina continues to lag behind most states. It remains in the bottom fourth of states. Our Jason Raven sat down with advocates and has more. After moving out of the bottom 10 last year in these child well-being rankings, South Carolina is now 41st. Now, one of the main areas of concern for researchers this year is the lack of affordable child care options. The Annie E. Casey Foundation's Kids Count Report takes a look at four main indicators, economic well-being, family and community, education, and health care. The Children's Trust of South Carolina says some of the most alarming statistics are in children's health. South Carolina ranks 47th in the nation in this category. Infant mortality was on the rise, uh, low birth weights were on the rise, maternal mortality was on the rise, and child and teen fatality were all on the rise. According to the report, 10% of babies born in South Carolina weighed less than five and a half pounds at birth, putting them at higher risk for short and long-term complications. Now, the Children's Trust says expanding access to home visiting programs could help turn things around. Right now, only about 10% of the eligible population in South Carolina is receiving home visiting services. And we know through data that home visiting decreases the rate of maternal mortality, decreases the rate of infant mortality, and increases infant birth weights. Another issue the report explored was the lack of affordable and accessible child care and its impact on families and employers. The Children's Trust of South Carolina says it wasn't easy to keep centers open during the pandemic, but the State Department of Social Services and their partners took on the challenge. They say expanding options across the state will help families in more ways than one. About 15% of parents said that at some point they have uh, changed their job or not accepted a job due to a lack of child care, and that's significant. Now, one measure they say could help South Carolina's children in the long term is expanding the paid parental leave benefit to school district employees in the state. Now, that legislation was signed into law earlier this year. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. Georgia and North Carolina are ranked 37th and 33rd for overall child well-being.